Alright guys, so this is my rain chamber that I've built for my red-eyed tree frogs. It's an 18, well actually a 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra. And I know generally you want a bigger tank for a rain chamber, um, but this is what I had, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I got rocks there in the bottom, holding that pot with that vine in there up out of the water. Uh, to keep it from getting drenched. Uh, there's the pump that goes up and back and through behind the wall and up to the top where I have that PVC pipe with some holes drilled in it to give it a nice rain effect. Um, anyway, I hope it works out pretty well uh, for the group of three that I plan on putting in there. Here's my terrarium over here uh, that actually has the frogs in it. Um, you'll notice at the bottom I put a piece of plexiglass in there to separate the uh, soil from the water. Um, I like part water, part land terrariums, uh, especially ones with waterfalls in it like I have in this one coming down that piece of wood there because it keeps the humidity high in there as well as the live plants um, and that way I don't have to do any misting. Uh, it gets pretty humid in there, especially at night with the lights off of it. I got a UVB light up there, um, and that takes care of the plants pr pretty well. And uh, there's a piece of red oak. That's a good wood if you have any, uh, find any in your backyard. You can just, you know, peel the bark off of it and sand it down, and uh, it makes pretty good terrarium wood. That way you don't have to spend the money at a pet store, 15, 20 bucks on a piece of wood. Um, but yeah. Here's one of my, hopefully one of my males up in the corner. That's BG. He's rather big, but uh, I think I've heard him call out a few times at night, so. Um, let's see here. If I can find the other two. Yeah, here we go. Here's Marshmallow. He's my, for sure, definite male. Um, heard hear him call a lot at night but uh anyway and then we have hopefully a female she's not mature yet but um I think she is a female there's Sprout and then these vines have really just taken off it started growing everywhere that's nice um and then I got a leaf litter over top of the soil and I have a springtail culture that's really taken off. I'm really excited about it. They keep it pretty clean in there. Um, and then I just change the water out every few days. Uh, and about once a month I'll do a complete cleaning where I take all the rocks and everything out and rinse them out. Because lots of stuff collects at the bottom. But anyway, so... This is my uh, terrarium, or vivarium rather, with uh, BG Marshmallow and Sprout for my red-eyed tree frogs. Um, any questions, just post in the comments, uh, or uh, any recommendations for breeding red-eyed tree frogs. I'd be happy to hear the advice. Alright, well thanks.